Hey there, this is Brian Terrian from the Disability Digest with a December update on what is going on in the world of Social Security and Social Security Disability Benefits. I'm going to talk about what's in the news. I'm going to share with you some success stories. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about, in general, what you need to prove to get and keep your benefits. Uh, getting answers about your questions that you have has gotten easier here, we hope, at the Disability Digest. I'm going to share that with you. So that's what's on tap for this video. So if you're new here, welcome. I've been helping people as an advocate get and keep their Social Security disability benefits since 2007. There's a wonderful team of people here that assist me. Um, so I'm in hopes that you like the work that we do and you subscribe to our channel. Uh, stay tuned for more. So first thing, what is in the news? There's two major movements in the news. One is as we get into this uh, political season, I'm going to speak very generally about be super careful and who you vote for. I'm going to put some links um, around this video in the description about uh, very active movements to dismantle uh, parts of the Social Security disability system uh, and the Medicare system. So if that's what you're in favor of, then certainly direct your vote that way. But my vibe is most are not. The second major thing in the news is overpayments. This is applicable to Social Security disability recipients and Social Security recipients. Getting a letter from Social Security saying that we have overpaid you X amount of dollars and we want it back in 30 days is, to say the least, frightening. Uh, the amount of overpayments are 30, 50, 70, 120, 160 thousand um, dollars. So understanding overpayments, uh, this is happening to 900,000 people a year, so it's a real deal. <clears throat> it was recently uh, brought to uh, the attention of like regular media through Anderson Cooper at 60 Minutes. So I'll put the replay around uh, this video. So if you value your benefits, just tune in, watch it. It's very well done. Um, and unfortunately, if this does happen to you, there will be resources associated with that uh, video and media piece that we did that can help you out. Um, so those are the two major things in the news. Uh, here at the Disability Digest, we... Uh, collect success stories of people that have uh, gone through and gotten approved, some of the nuggets of information that they've learned and they've shared, um, we collect those. So there's been two this month. One is from Lisa and one from Rydona. Uh, and Rydona's message it is of particular interest to me because she talks about the importance of filling out the forms. When you apply for disability, you fill out uh, two sets of forms, uh, daily living a questionnaire and your work history. And the answers that you put on those are really critical. And she explains uh, why uh, they are critical. So I encourage you to check that out. We also, so we have a whole playlist of these. I think there's like 80 some odd that we keep in that uh, getting approved tips and playlists. So check that out. That will be around this video. We also have a separate playlist for people that have been approved uh, and they learn different tips and tricks that uh, have helped them get all that they are entitled to. So I encourage you to check those uh, two playlists out. Um, this is the time of year that I focus some of our efforts on reminding or teaching people what you need to prove to get your benefits and to keep your benefits. And I say it for both because definitely for getting approved for disability, you want to understand what it is you need to say and do. But 20% of disability recipients are being reviewed annually and are being put to the test again. So you need to understand going forward. So there's been a whole segment that we have done in one of our live events about what you need to prove. 
that has real life examples, uh, have had people communicate what they believe they need to prove, which is not. So here's the short story. And then I encourage you to tune into that event. Um, people are focused on their condition. They're very, I have this centric, which is unfortunate, but it's not the conditions that you have that will determine your eligibility to get your benefits and keep your benefits. It is the diagnosis for those conditions, the treatment of those conditions, and how those are documented. In addition, how your limitations are clearly documented in your medical records. It takes all three to put a lock on your disability benefits. So uh, tune into that event and our ongoing efforts are to help you understand more about what you need to prove and what you really should be doing in each and every doctor visit uh, going forward, um, whether you're a disability recipient or not. Um, so employment, a lot of people getting pinched by the cola's low Christmas time of year and all that stuff. Um, for you can definitely earn income and uh, apply for disability you can earn income and keep your benefits uh, the amount of both of those is going up in 2024 we'll put the regulation around this video um, we've also spent a lot of time effort and energy um, finding others that are disability applicants or recipients and what they uh, have done successfully to supplement their income so there's a collection of those that have been condensed down into one website that you'll find associated with that. Here at the Disability Digest, as of this recording right now, uh, we are looking for people to come join our team. Um, that would be content creators and help us uh, deliver information via video to uh, our audience so that they clearly understand how to get everything that they're entitled to. You don't need any experience. Um, you could be somebody that just is comfortable in front of the camera or maybe you've been a teacher in the past or we've had nurses apply uh, truck drivers um, you know you make one or two videos uh, a week um, and it's a great way for you to supplement your income and communicate our message and make a difference for others last thing is is getting your answers to your questions um, uh, has become easier in my opinion here at the Disability Digest. So um, listening to this video, if you're new, and hopefully this is answering some of your questions, but you can join us as a member, complete your profile, and then you'll get information, support groups, contacts that are relative to your needs, a customized approach. So that's one. We have live events that we host on Wednesday, most Wednesdays. Um, and uh, historically you've been able to enter a question that you have at the end of the live event into the chat feature, which is, we still do that. But what we are doing differently and new, which has been well received, is you can now call in and you can talk to us or a panel who is ever presenting at the live and actually get your question answered in an engaged conversation. So those are the different ways in which we can help you. So I hope this video finds you well. I wish everybody a safe and joyous holiday season from all of us here at the Disability Digest. We'll definitely have more information that we'll be putting out in December, but um, just in advance of that. Hope you enjoyed this. Join us in the comments. Stay tuned for more. It's been Brian from the Disability Digest. Thank you.